Hi guys, welcome back to Eat Your Kappa with me Nambi. In today's video, I'm going to make fish curry with rich goat. It's a boro style dish and since rich goat is in a season, it's growing everywhere. I'm going to be making use of it. It's an absolutely delicious dish and let's get started. One jinka or rich goat. Fish pieces as many as you want. I have marinated the fish in salt and turmeric and have fried it. One medium sized onion, three to four green chilies, one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, turmeric a teaspoon and salt to taste. And about a tablespoon of mustard oil where we fried our fish. Now let's peel the rich goat. The first thing that you need to do is scrape off the brown edges of the rich goat and remember not to throw away the peel because the peel is very important. I know of a recipe that I learned recently with the peels of rich goat and it's absolutely delicious. So hold on to the peel. So all my ingredients are ready, now let's get cooking. The mustard oil is hot, now let's add the onions and the chilli. Gently saute them till the onions are translucent. Remember to put on the lid when you're cooking the rich goat so that it softens faster. The rich goat has turned pulpy, now let's add some water. Once the water starts boiling, we can add in the fish and my water looks about ready now, so let's add the fish. Now all that's left to do is let the stew boil and allow the fish to soak in all the juices of all of the ingredients and your dish is ready. Let's serve it. It looks absolutely stunning. It's absolutely delicious dish. I hope you guys make yourselves 
a lot of rich goat and fish curry at home since it's the season so go crazy on all the rich goat <laughs> uh, again thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next episode with more amazing recipes from the northeast don't forget to subscribe like and share